So I'm uh, Chief of Samson Cree Nation. My name is uh, Chief Vernon Saddleback, and we, you are on the Treaty 6 territory of Samson Cree Nation. I, I think for myself, uh, the, the biggest um, indicator of success of the mobile mental health unit is uh, the reduction in our in our suicides in our community. Uh, you know, for if, if, I have a personal passion about suicide because we've all lost members to suicide and I've had my own suicide ideations in my life when I was younger you know, and I've suffered, suffered with depression all my life. So it's been a, a topic as chief that's near and dear to my heart. So, so over, the, over the decades I've tracked the, the race, the averages, you know, and, and uh, you know, uh, before I got into council nine years ago and before the mobile mental health program was, a lot, was enacted, our, our average is about six to eight a year. You know, six to eight a year. When they came online, uh, you know, I think that they, it took a couple years to get traction. They dropped down to five to four. Before the pandemic, I had three years with zero suicides in our community. Zero. Uh, they made a crushing impact on trying to provide mental health supports to people who are struggling in our community. The idea for the mobile mental health unit came from the fact that we don't uh, provide comfort as close to the point of trauma uh, with many of the individuals that we've dealt with and so our goal was to get as close to the point of trauma as we possibly could and then provide comfort relief. So the sources of our referrals initially were the ambulance and police service and we started to work cooperatively with them to be invited to provide comfort to patients uh, directly after a traumatic event occurred. So the goal is for the police to secure the perimeter, the ambulance to cart away the injured, and for us uh, in the mobile mental health unit to deal with the after effects or the residual effects of that trauma. Well, I have 20 years with the RCMP, and like I said, I've worked over BC uh, and all, all across Alberta and BC, and I have never seen anything like this. Uh, in quite a few detachments, Prince George, the Okanagan, uh, when I came here, I learned about mobile mental health, and I actually went over to the uh, ambulance authority where they're stationed to meet Steve, and uh, this program that they run is unbelievable and I think every community needs an RCRU team to go out. They provide supports to the community, they provide supports to us and when uh, we're called out to anything from mental health issues, suicides, uh, we have them to rely on and it's it's amazing for this community. And unfortunately because of the pandemic, because of lockdown, we've had uh, we've had a couple, we are nowhere near the old averages we used to have. Uh, what they offer, what they provide to try and help people get through those moments of trauma uh, is, I can't express my gratitude for the work that they do for us. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. It's just, no, I can't express. It's, it's phenomenal what they do for us. It's about uh, six years now that we started out. Uh, uh, so the most important part of our our service is that we're mobile and that we're 24-7. So we have a 24-7 crisis line and we have the ability to get out to scenes uh, uh, quickly after the traumatic event has occurred. I think all appreciate the gesture, uh, but sometimes addictions uh, uh, precludes them from following through on, on their initial desires. We've, ha we've had uh, way more success uh, with regards to suicidal ideation because uh, suicidal individual feels like they're alone and so if we have a lifeline out to them that reduces the risk of suicide. So we've had a significant impact with regards to suicide uh, completions in the community. It's invaluable. Um, to have them come out and do assessments on some of our prisoners. Like you said, we're not trained health professionals to make those types of assessments. And so to have them to be able to come out to talk to some of our prisoners, to ensure that they're okay, that we can release them back into the community. So we have this team that can provide that service to this community. They can step up, they can go and check on these people and ensure that there's a continuity piece after the fact and when we're done. As uh, the Musquachis RCMP and our CPVS unit, we're meeting proactively with the councils and the chief to discuss what the future looks like, giving those education pieces to the community, holding mental health awareness events, training our own members. Um, and with uh, RCRU, they live in this community. A lot of us as police officers don't live here, so we have them in the community. They're trusted by the community. So, you know, 
historically there have been trust issues with the police. So when you have a unit like this that can go in and assist their community, they have that trust already and we're there to back them up if required. So we are looking proactively and in information sessions, helping the members and having these, uh, these Zoom meetings with Chief and Council, with RCRU, with Muskogee's Health Services to see what the future looks like after COVID and how we can move forward and that prevention piece is a huge piece for us. It's, it's a service that you need for every community out there because, you know, uh, depression is something that affects a lot of people. Like I said, I struggle with it all my life and, uh, and it's something that's near and dear to my heart and, you know, I can't be the only guy suffering with it. You know, it's, 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 it's a common amongst a lot of people, but it's not even about depression. It's really about how do we provide those mental health supports at those moments of trauma for people? You know, how do we get them through those moments? Because those are those moments where we might lose people, right? And, and what they do to try and get people past those moments and then get them into supports and help afterwards, they save lives. There's, there's no other word for it. And if you can put this into other communities in Alberta, you know, we're all going to grow old together. <laughs> so, really, I, I can't express the work that they do it, uh, enough. It's just it's phenomenal what they do for us.